we all have read about and know of examples of the impact of corporate lobbying uh, because that sort of lobbying often makes the headlines. Uh, but I represent nonprofit entities before the Texas legislature and a lot of what we do doesn't ever necessarily make the headline but has an impact on everyday people and their in their everyday lives. When I first got started lobbying, one of my first clients was Goodwill Industries of Texas and Goodwill Industries is the largest employer of people with disabilities in the world. And everybody knows about Goodwill stores but most people don't realize that the revenue from those stores is utilized to educate and provide job training for people with disabilities. And one of the first pieces of legislation that I worked on for Goodwill Industries was designed to help people with severe disabilities who um, are able to be employed to increase their employment or to work more hours and perhaps make more money without losing the really life sustaining sorts of support that they need that is usually provided by the government. And so we created a program where people with severe disabilities could work more. Uh, previously they had a ceiling or a cap on their um, income and we passed a piece of legislation that would allow them to work more, to make more money without losing the services that they needed. For example, perhaps they would need transportation to, their, to and from their job, or they might need someone to come over and help them get dressed. And when they passed the threshold for income, they would lose those services automatically. So the program that we created would allow the, allows them to make more money, but rather than lose the services, they pay for a portion of the cost of the services. So they continue to have them, they're able to be self-sufficient, more self-sufficient, they're able to contribute to society by paying taxes, and they're able to continue to have the kind of services that they need in order to be participatory in, in society. So that was one of the very first things that I did as a nonprofit lobbyist with Goodwill Industries.